Angela, let's get it. What up, outside gang? It's your favorite guy, Jungle Tiger. Y'all know what I do. Y'all know what I do, man. Y'all know I go in that mud. I find the people who shaking the town, creating the culture from the original fabrics, laying down and making that steam. Boys, it's all the way in New York City, man. Yes, we is. Yes, go, we go, is. Go. DCG gang, what's up, my guys? Love, man, chilling, chilling, man. I'm Just grateful to be here, man. Thanks for having us. Making it happen, man. Running around New York right now, man. All through this motherfucker. I seen y'all everywhere. I seen y'all everywhere. Facts, man. How 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 is the New York run been? Has it been fun? It's been fun, it's but it's been, been long, amazing. long days, man. That's long it. days. Long days, just doing a lot of work. Then after work, still going to have fun, pop out, slide on a few players, you know. Still hit the studio. Hit the mm -hmm. studio, still. Might go to the club with a few players or something, you know. Still having sure. fun. Tell me, tell me about the recording, the recording. Like, so y'all recorded in the city yet? Yeah, yeah for sure. Is it? Do you get a different vibe? Do it be putting you in a different mood? It do, yeah. cause a lot of y'all studios is high rises, like it's like in the air, you know what I'm saying? So when I be looking at the booth or looking out the studio window, I'll be in the air. Times Square and shit, that shit cool. And it's just bright as fuck, like. So it do give me a whole different vibe. But Chicago studios is kind of like dark. It's really like, you know? It's just walk in and walk in. Studio, you you know gotta take an elevator to y'all shit, like that's yeah, cool. Yeah, 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 shit, I'll right. fuck with that. All right, so wait, for those who don't know, how long would y'all say y'all been rapping and making music with y'all? Three years? I, I say three years for sure, for sure. It's been and it's been like two years since we've been real live taking it serious. So we've been taking it serious for sure. For so sure. Y'all had some motion right out the gate there. Yeah, yeah, we was we was just known for like dressing real yeah, good. Like everybody was like sweating. It was to be fresh as hell. We used to be dressing bad as doing. hell. Shit like that. So we was always viral on the internet, Instagram, Facebook, and it's just like what well, we need to. Let's just stop being these badass kids and focus on something else because we like shit. What else we gonna do? Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, I, I, I'm the one who raps, so I'm like, I'm just gonna have a little bit rap with me. Shit, I ain't gonna do it by myself. And he just agrees with. And, and what was and what was getting so so getting getting wrote a rap? How much convincing did it take? <sighs> so it was been convincing, bro. He's been rapping since he was like seven, eight. So, so. I already Key, was putting Key. a video out at eight, seven years old. I already was going to the mm -hmm. studio, and I was life was focused on some other shit, trying to play basketball or some shit. I don't know. I was just a kid having fun. I don't know what the fuck I wanted to do. But as we got older and older, we was just always had clout, bro. We just always like had hood. We was just hood stars, bro. Like you feel me? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Popular in hood and schools, like that's just us. You feel me? I always known for dressing the same, just being fresh and shit. So. As we got older and shit, he started back like rapping for real, for real. He like, man, I want you to rap with me. I'm like, man, we should do some shit like that though. But I wasn't thinking too hard on it. Then I just started thinking about it. I went to school right one day and wrote a song and came back home. Came back home, that shit surprised me. I'm like, what you think? What you like? I'm like, damn, this shit cold, bro. Like, cold? how the fuck? The first one was cold, bro. Literally, I'm like, how the fuck shit. you even? Cause I used to try to make him rap and shit. He'd be like, he was just playing, be like, blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> <laughs> he be like wiggity wiggity no, whack, like he saying some shit like you feel for crisscrossing them. Like I'm like, what the fuck, game? Like you not for rap? He like, bro, I ain't finna try that shit. So he went, he went to school. He came back and showed me that shit. I'm like, no, nah, this shit cold, bro. Like we gotta get in the studio. We so said like five days to write that shit. Though. For sure, we sat down, we smoked, thought of the DCG name, we converted it over to some corporate shit, and we just went from there. What What was the moment that y'all happened with? Y'all released and you were like, oh shit, no, we could do this for real. I ain't gonna lie, bro. All right, this one I knew, like, all right, we're gonna do this shit for real, for real. When we shot our first video for real, for real, we shot that video, I'm like, we was really just having fun for real, for yeah. real. Like, but I think, well, like, when I had, like, we had remixed this young jock beat, the homie died, the one I got tattooed on my face. It's, um,. Damn, what was that beat called? We saw Coffee Shop. Right? Coffee Shop, yeah. And we named it Forever Nitty. And that shit went like, bro, when I say I never went to school, like, I, I dropped a preview of it. The preview did like 3,500 3, likes on Facebook, like 3,000 likes on Facebook. Shit going crazy. And I had school the next day, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So we went to school the next day, bro. When I say 
everybody asking what time it drop is dropping today. Who like it was like a crazy ass impact and just results from a just a fucking preview. For sure. I'm like, what the fuck? Like I ain't never seen nothing like this, bro. Like they really buzzing the shit out of me about a song. Like I can't even go to lunch, bro. Like they ask me when this shit dropping, what time is dropping. And it's around the time like we was bad as hell. We just got out of regular public schools. We both going to um uh, alternative, alternative school. Mm -hmm. So it was like we get out of school early, like one PM. You feel me? So the song is about to drop about 3 p.m. As we get out of school, the song about to drop type shit. Bro, when I said we came back to school the next day, and they put us out that motherfucker. They put you out? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Go, wait. So what did they say? It was too violent? What did they say? We was like, what we was turned the, the city like, up. You couldn't go to your first class? I couldn't. Nah, hell no. Nah. We came to school. They let us finish the whole day. And then when we, because we was only going from, we was only going from 9 to one, nine in the morning to 1 p.m. You feel me? Right, right, so Because right. it was alternative. So. Alternative. So my mom came to pick us up. They would just walked us to the car. We didn't even know they was about to say this. Like, they just walked us to the car. We got in, and she was just like, they can't come back. She was like, well, what they do? She was like, it's just a major distraction. So from the kids, like, they had to, we just the first, we came into school, they had to move me and him to I a whole say, separate room. Yeah. Like, what? like, what's all this attention about? I'm like, shit, like, we just, we made a song, I guess. They're like, y'all rappers? <laughs> so a song, I'm like, so your first good, let's, let's get the YouTube title right. Your nah. first good song got y'all kicked out of school. Yes, for first sure. good song, for sure. First good song it got for kicked Nitty. out. We made that episode, did a million views in a month. That bitch did a million views in a month. Our like first million, million views. views right now. Okay, so y'all getting escorted? What, wait, what, and what's, what's your folks saying? Like, what are they? Because that, that's kind of crazy, though, too. My mama ain't really understand really it until I show her, like, for real, for real. like, my like, mama didn't even understand what Like, I mean, my look, Lil Baby posting like, us. Lil Dirk exactly, coming on, that's like, what she was understanding. She like, Okay, like, this is Lil something baby like coming dirt coming on our shit. You feel me? You got G Herbo co signing us. You like you got you got everything, everybody. You know like, what I'm saying so. It was just crazy. And what I so 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 the co signs so they kicked out of school, but the co signs is coming in. What do you think when you start seeing Lil Dirk, G Herb, all everybody from? Because that don't really happen a lot. Like the elders come down and yeah. show show love to the next gen. That don't For really sure. happen. So yeah. what was y'all thinking? When they, they coming through showing love, what are y'all, how you feeling at this Take time? advantage of this shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's for time, sure. it's time now. Watching like. they footsteps, seeing, you know what I'm saying, learning and all that shit for real. For real. You got to think about these, some of the, these are the niggas we grew up listening to or the niggas we fuck with right now, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like shit, it was just like, all right, that's a go for real. They gave us a stop. We know we that. Facts. Keep going. Well, all right, fellas, well, you know I got to go there now, too. Look, sure. I was talking about Chicago. For sure. How is, how do y'all feel about the energy, the temperament of Chicago now versus like five, ten years ago, like when those guys was blowing up, right? Like I'm not gonna hold you because we talking about we talk about the drill wave, right? They talk mm -hmm. about New York, they talk about New York drill wave blowing up right now. Mm -hmm. We talking about you know and everybody knows it came from the Chicago drill wave. Mm -hmm. And I just remember watching it, bro. I didn't, I'm gonna be real. I had no clue about like what exactly was going on. But when Chief Key dropped, when yeah. that shit dropped, I was like, I, I was a fan. Anybody can tell you. All that's that, facts. That, all that, because the culture was so, it was just, so what was, how do y'all feel about it? How do you, have you, have you seen the culture change from then to now? How do you feel about it? Where is it at? Yeah, it changed dramatically, man. Yeah. Like, it did, like, bro. When Sosa started, bro, he had everybody, like, just turnt, bro. Like, it was just, like, the city was so wild, bro. Like, and it was, so fun, it was fun, but it was like, it was like, man, it was like after that, they after Chief Keef left, cause Chief, it was Chief Keef, Lil Dirk, G Herbo, Lil Baby, everybody around that time. We even had females like Tink and Dreezy, like it was really going up inside the city. Mm -hmm. So it's like all of them really is successful now. Every last one of them is very successful. After they left the city, a lot changed. It's like what are the other telling that? Cause. Oh, do you think it's because they all got signed and moved out? And they yeah, but it's like Chicago. Yeah, they had they run Chicago in Chicago. Really. They had they, you feel me, run-ins. It's now it's like they got to really be, they got to stand up to this music shit because they really got fans. They doing real hard, hard sale tickets, tours, and stuff like that. It's like we still listen to them. It's just like the drill changed because it's like they don't really still talk about how the stuff they talked about back then. Mm -hmm. They get money now. They see a whole different perspective of life now with us coming up drill is like all the new rappers that's coming out now we got the shoeboxes pgf nooks we got the 
Who we got all in Chicago? Mellow Us, Bucks. Mellow, Mellow Bucks. We got motherfucking. You got, um, you got motherfuckers coming, bro. You like this feel. class? How y'all feel about this class? I um, feel very. I feel, I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like uh, this feel. is the this generation, and I feel like our generation is gonna be the like gonna be the change for this shit because we are working together. We all working together. We um just trying to change the narrative for Chicago for real, for real. Because a lot of people don't reach for each other back in Chicago. You know they they be saying it's like a crab in a bucket thing, but we actually all helping each other and actually fucking around for real, for real. From out yeah. west to out south, over east, all them people we just named. We all from different parts of Chicago. We from out west. Other motherfuckers from over over east or out south, and we all bringing this shit. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we just making it happen for real, for real. Like, I feel like Chicago also was one of them cities who not who was not like a a, 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 a music scene. City. See you. Like mm. we do have a lot of rappers. We have talent. Every year it's gonna be somebody come out of Chicago with a hit. Yeah. Cause we got it like that. Like Chicago got hit makers. We got good talent. It's just. It's no way. Can't no rapper come to Chicago and do a press run. <laughs> like, it's not a that's music what scene. Get up too. You it's don't not think a music scene. Is low, the scene is yeah, low. Like, mm. like he, piggyback on what he was saying, how the G Herbos, Lil Babies, Dirks, all everybody left and shit got successful, even the females and stuff. It's nothing to stay do for. Chicago. Like, like, what the fuck? Mm. How does the. How it's not going to work. So it's like. With DCG, we trying to make the city fun again. Like, it got to be more shit in the city for the rappers to want to come to. People want to just, you feel me? Like, for real, for real, gang. Like, long live King Von. Like, motherfuckers come to Chicago now. They don't know nothing but to go to Old Block. It's really yeah. nothing to do the in the city. Of King Von we got a beautiful-ass city, bro. Like, motherfuckers don't really be having nothing to do for real. Oh, you saying the, the tourists, people will hear about Chicago and they just take a tourist stop to go see a King Von. Yeah, King that's like, King wow, Von, that's legendary. That's like, legendary, for sure. It's for like, sure. It's literally nothing else to do in the city. What the hell are you finna come here and do? And that's Chicago. damn near risking your life to go yeah, do that. Like, that's, go, you, you know really saying? showing that's how much of an impact of Chicago have on this culture, like. For real, like you really going, you coming all the way from your city just to take a picture right here. And the most craziest, craziest part of Chicago, part of Chicago like to take a picture right here, which is wonderful to me because I'm from the city. You feel me? For sure, that's and showing I know love. What type of impact we got on other people? It's just it's crazy that people will really do that. So you, that's telling you we need more shit to go on in the city. That, and I want to go into that too, like because you know one is they were trying to like blame it on the violence or whatever, but right. also you would say is that like generally growing up. You don't remember having much fun things to do, much rolling loud things to get exactly. into. Exactly. Hell no. We just remember fucking Fifi's on the block. That's it. That's all. All out being outside together where we can all party together. Sure. Out south can party with out west. They mm -hmm. just now letting motherfuckers start coming to the Lollapalooza. It used to be crazy downtown. They weren't letting all the little shorties and shit come to the Lollapalooza and all the little wild shorties. Because Chief Keith and them never even made it to that exactly type of shit. So like, right. Chief Keith had the city so different. You, bro, I'm telling you, this, that motherfucker was turned upside down. Motherfuckers, <laughs> for real, motherfuckers thinking they might come downtown and get the snatch of purses. You never know. Like, they ain't even Used to let motherfuckers come to the Lollapalooza that look like us. Now it's like more shit going on. Cole Benny got his festival, yeah. and it's just different shit going on. But we need more, more. music scene stuff. We do just you, need. Do more. you think now? Now I wanna, I wanna take a little pivot too. So when you see, when you see like New York, and you see how New York drill scene has kind of yeah. blown up, and how it's kind of moving with the platforms and the blogs and everything. Yeah. Do you guys think that? Do you, do you feel like New York may turn the did things with the drill that Chicago like how do you feel like what do you see in the difference between the way the New York is doing the drill versus how when you is and the way it's acting in Chicago? I feel like New York made drill like they put okay, how I say this, like they put they put like the hotness, like we made drill hot, but I'm talking about like uh, like as in like as them watching, like really getting too real deep into drill, like nah facts. They got New New York really got it, got it like that because they like they like what the fuck like y'all just killing people and and just rapping about New York it, like, definitely got it got wait, wait, it. So it's deeply like, looked in for real. For yeah. real like, you think we got people tapped into what's going on? It like used to it's be a, yeah. fun a little bit now. It's kind of people kind of be scared of this shit for real. For real, you know what I'm saying? So it's like Chicago out the, the like way y'all they trying to ban drill like that's crazy. Like that. All right, but if I'm being real. I never knew one song by Rondo Number no. Nine, and I was a fan. Right, like that's we crazy. knew y'all storyline. That's the storyline. Like yeah. we knew the storyline without knowing the music, and that's kind of the same thing was going on in New York. Like we yeah. had be selling the story. It's the storyline sell yeah, yeah, versus yeah. the music. Like yeah. so I was saying, it was the same thing kind of happened. Like, bro, nobody knew. Uh, I would say a lot of people like didn't know certain artists' songs, but we knew they they character like yeah. Rico Reckless. 
Like, I know <laughs> Rico Reckless is one of the funniest dudes I've ever seen. Yeah, I can't yeah. tell you too many records, bro. Right. 600 Breezy, same thing. Right, like, right, right. Y'all had, y'all were making a lot of characters and people, it was just intense. It was like, yo, bro, I I just remember there was a time period where everybody was like, yo, turn on, let's see what's going on. And we had no clue, but it was just the storyline was crazy. Yeah. So I think in New York, we try to do, and that's kind of the mimic too, right? Like because I think it was, it was rules and regulations with this drill shit. It was like, mm -hmm. when you do this drill shit, it's like, Man, we the people run on number nine, and them they was in two and shit. Like we was young and shit. They nineteen, they was twenty. Some of them twenty, twenty two. You feel me? Like they damn, they thirty now. They in their thirties and shit now. So it's like they weren't really killing kids, like for real. Like we really had a rule. Like if a fourteen year old died, why is he even in the game? No bullshit. Like mm -hmm. why is you we smoking on a like a twelve year old? That was like crazy yeah, to us. Like ain't gonna lie, no that's no bullshit, you know in Chicago you don't, you don't, don't get no points, points for that, that shit. shit. Like you a lame ass nigga if you go kill a child. Oh, you you a lame if you smoke on a kid. Nah, no yeah. bullshit. Like come on, uh, unless this years, unless though, everybody like we know what's going on in the city. Unless this shorty is a real demon out here at 14, 15, putting in real solid work and no he just passes. No passes, you, 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 okay, his little badass thing, he, you show, you feel me? But other than that, it's like, no, nah, we ain't doing no shit like that. Even if they is, he out here gang bang. He ain't never touch nobody, he just gang. Now nah, leave that little boy alone, man, that little boy, that little boy, that's like, a kid, bro. like in the city, New York made it a little more reckless, you made it? Yeah, that's you know? what I'm saying, they made it a little hotter to the point, yeah, like the police is hot. deeper yeah, yeah, yeah. on, like deeper on drill, like they don't get no fuck no more. Soon as motherfuckers fly in New York, police be on your ass. You're yes, a real drill robber, boy. They no. be on that. Boy, they, they be knowing what's going on. Oh, they knew y'all in. They knew when y'all came coming in and out of town. Uh, for no, sure. facts, facts, facts. Hip-hop police know that y'all yeah, yeah, here. They know leaving. Oh, no, facts. That shit real. They, 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 they just don't trust the police, bro. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a crazy game. But, all right, so now I want to, let's go there. PGF Nook was saying, a little bit of backlash that happened from the New York and Chicago thing. PGF Nook was out here chilling. And I felt like, I fuck with Nook, I like Nook, and Nook was here chilling, and people took a little backlash because Nook was like, he came here, chilled, did some features, went back home, and he was like, yo, I don't think New York liked that. And there were some people in New York, to be fair, this is my opinion, uh, to be fair, there were some people in New York like, nah, he could say that. He in Chicago, he came here, he said this shit cheeky. That's his bigot. Did y'all get that same vibe though? Did did y'all do you do how you like about? Like, I don't know what people hang at it when they come to New York. I only go to I, I hang at a brunch when I go to New York. Mm -hmm. I, I ain't shit sweet over there. Talk about talk I ain't gonna lie to you. You name where you chill where y'all be chilling at? Y'all be in the Bronx? I'll be in the Bronx. I'll be if, I, if we don't chill in the Bronx, we be chilling in Harlem with Jim and Jim Jones hood. Like that's mm -hmm. big bro for real. So. For sure, for sure. You feel me? Well, we chilling we chill at Corlin and shit, you feel me? Well, we chillin' Shy K B Boo Savage and shit. So it's about that, that, that B-Love collab, right? Yeah. I'm in New York on my shit. Like, who can't carry guns? Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, how did that record come about? He was, um, how we met, bro? We met, bro. I was on tour. Tour. Was on tour. We was on tour. And uh, her, we had, had a show. And was it Jersey or New York? Jersey. We had a show in Jersey, and we end up, he heard end up bringing out love, you feel me? And we had end up meeting him that night. I was doing some other shit, though. But, like, right before the show, I didn't even know he was coming out. But right before the show, I was like, damn, we out here. We need to get up with B-Love. I fuck with this new artist. I had my manager was like, B-Love. Nigga, he upstairs. Right? You want to go meet him real quick? Like, let's go, you feel me? I was doing some other shit. Like, fuck this. Let's go meet him or whatever. We go meet him and shit. Just, we locked in from there. He ended up coming back to Chicago or some shit, right? Yeah. He came back to Chicago and we um for we tour. Had, yeah, he came back to Chicago for his own tour. And then he had we had ended up just linking up, doing a song and shit, made sure he was straight when he came. He to brought the us city. out. He brought he brought us out of his show. Mm -hmm. for, I forget, I forget. Yeah, he, he brought, brought us out of his yeah. show on his tour. And we just locked in. Every time he comes to the rack, he good. We come to New York, we straight. All right, so now let's go there. So your hood and Cortland, you feel similarities? You feel? I Hell wouldn't even, yeah. I wouldn't even post up if I ain't feel similarity. Like I literally that's the hood. hood. That's the hood for me. I know like. like like that's going on, vibes. like I, you feel me? If I'm gonna, I'm not gonna come out here perpetrating, like bro. If I'm gonna be in the hood, real hood, if I'm in Chicago, where's the real hood at in in, yeah. sh in New, New York? York? I want to know what's the most and plus hood, hooded shit out here. And the plus, Bronx, for sure. If anybody know, y'all know the fuck going on in the Bronx, man. It's <laughs> not, it ain't like you feel me. Like y'all know it's dangerous over there, so it ain't sure. like, man, I don't underestimate nobody, man. Now, now, now we know damn sure ain't nobody getting shot in Manhattan. <laughs> or a motherfucker, or a motherfucker Times Square. Okay, we know that. 
But the shit ain't sweet in the Bronx. Yeah, and, that, and, that, and that, that's really what. And also, there's no. We're the Times Square in Chicago. Like, y'all got the downtown Chicago. You got downtown. Man, you know, ain't nothing going. I ain't like, gonna lie, though. Niggas been getting killed. What's so downtown, crazy is that it's changed Frank in the past changed, few bro. years. You, it, downtown you used to be the safest down down place be, ever. Yes. While it was still busting in the city, like, it could be shootings here, there. Go downtown, you cool. Safe. Because it's all felt the feds on God, all that down. Die every day downtown, though. People was dying downtown. And I don't know all how the they getting this comfortable with just killing motherfuckers downtown. I'm like, damn, it's saying, cold. So that's all. Duck was downtown, too. Yeah. That's a fact. That, and that's what I was going to say. So you're saying the downtown? But downtown. Yeah, that York, shit ain't sweet downtown. For sure. And that's what triggered all this what? shit, though. That's what put the spotlight on how people dying downtown and shit yeah, like that. all that shit that Oh, do you think people felt like, oh, downtown is actually open, more open game? Hell yeah, if you see a motherfucker getting nailed downtown, niggas in Chicago so dumb, they gonna, oh, we we can do it too. Yeah. We can do it too. That shit's sweet, but niggas don't even know, like, the whole downtown area, I don't play down that game. That shit for real, for real. Like, that's why, I, that's what the most police be at, for real, for do real. Do y'all feel, here's my thing though, do y'all feel the law? Like, do you feel police when you home? Man, that I ain't gonna lie, like, that is like, like bitches, nothing. So. They nothing, bro. Like, that's why I feel like it's so, because Chicago laws is like, they that Chicago ass. Chicago laws like, really not We shit. can high speed. We high speed. You get caught with a gun. gun, gun get out the, next day. out the next day. You can get, do a, you can kill somebody and do a, a, do a murder for, a for three murder. years. Nigga, you might get caught. A 10 murder for three you years. Good, you got a good judge, you might catch a 10 murder and get a bun the next day. For sure, for sure. A 10 murder, for sure. Mm. Okay. Okay. Manslaughter, all Man, type of shit. shit for sure. Like that shit kind of like how motherfuckers be saying they be like it's sweet as hell. Like Slice sweet that's why niggas take bro. advantage of it. They always doing dumb ass shit. And when you come out here, I feel alone. Years to beat a murder I feel Chicago, alone when like, you come out here. I know, like oh, if I'm you been going down for a murder for three years in Chicago. Most likely you finna beat your shit. I guess how it is for real. For. So you, so so y'all y'all pinpoint me now. So you really giving me to this point is that the streets don't respect the law so much. Nobody's even. That's not a fact. Hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. That's a big. That's a big difference. I ain't gonna lie, we from Chicago, we street. walk over. Uh, we walk over the police. Uh, we that's walk and over that's the here. that's what I be trying to tell people. Everybody be oh Chicago, this it's just because our uh, people take advantage of the laws. They just taking advantage of the laws. If people don't say, for instance, in Arkansas here, a law like. You could get out the next day for all this and do all that. Niggas will be abusing that shit. For like, sure. Like don't get me wrong, ah gun charges and shit hold one or three years, but. If this your first case, everybody know you know you're not doing any time for sure. There's nobody in Chicago who really go to gun go to jail for their first gun case and do some time. You getting bonded out the next day and they gonna say he a first offender. You got first offender rights. First offender rights. He ain't mean it. <laughs> sure. Everybody died in Chicago. Anybody, everybody have guns. So it's like, come on now, is you really finna get? He gonna do time out one out of three million? Stop it. Niggas, niggas be catching a second gun case and, and get right back up. No time. You feel me? Mm. Now, play okay, with that so third one that, if you want to. So, okay, okay, okay. So that's where we're going. So now, so really, what I'm getting in here really is, y'all don't got no, y'all don't fear the police. Y'all don't have no, no, that's not in the, in the. when something's going down, that ain't in the back of the head. Like, oh, worry about this too. Yeah. Like in New York, you got to accept. Like, I'm, I'm scared of y'all yes. police. If you don't yes. accept, you caught, bro. Facts. Like, scared caught. of y'all police. And that's all, and that's all what Nook really meant. That's he just let Nook really meant. Literally, he just, he how he reworded it, yeah. You know how Chicago people talk. That's how Nook really meant for real. He That's know why I law sweet everybody be like, well, cause look, when you think about if somebody getting caught with a gun out here five years, six years, you like, in Chicago one or three, I go to jail. Literally. I literally do that one. I don't get a fuck up right back out. Like, you gotta think about it. you do one year in Chicago in six, six months. months. That's not no fucking one or three for real, for real. Like one or three. Three and years, you, a year and a half. Mean like, ass judge, if they give you three years for your first gun case, that shit out real for real, for real. You're doing six months. For sure. Facts. Yes. Fellas. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I ain't been mind blown in a minute. Right, Y'all got me on that one, bro. Y'all no, got fact. me. Niggas, niggas got don't me. know they law. They just niggas don't be explaining to Some like, yeah. niggas never me. been in jail, ain't never had good lawyers, don't really know about they city for real, for real, gang. Like, for real, for real. Like, you gotta know that. And also, too, last thing, and then we're gonna go into the music. I would also guessing you're saying this because I've seen this in the documentary, so now I got some artists I wasn't really talking about. So what I've seen is that they say where the action is that the police don't go down there at all. No. Like, they don't even come. They're not spending. They don't tell even call you. Tell them they no, stay downtown. Not. Why would I play that? I just told you, all the police downtown. Well, I'm from Westside. 
Well, her from east side, with dark from the south side, they be scared to go over there. The police be scared of them blocks, gang. You think the police want to go on 79th? Unless think the they the get a call of a shooting or something, they then they're coming. They're going to probably the take their damn time. Hell no. Let them hear. We just got a report of 150 shots. <laughs> two people was out here hit. Someone look like they did. They, they like, of that shit, man, boy. hold on. Give us and some. They going to take a long time to come. You cannot get mad at them. These people are humans. They be thirsty <laughs> to catch a motherfucker downtown who robbing people, hijacking people, because what? I, I they giving us twenty. They giving us twenty crazy. years for hijacking though. You hack a jack a motherfucker in the car. You getting twenty years, sure. ten years. I, for they sure. don't play that shit. For sure, one of the little guys yesterday just got twenty years for hijacking. And he our age. Yeah, he he my got age. forty years. Got, damn, he got forty years. He our age. He got forty years. He got forty years. He got cracked yesterday for forty years for hijacking. Now that's what they don't play about in Chicago. In DuPage County. DuPage County. We that's Cook County. That's, our, that's our, our suburbs. suburbs. Oh, you you could get smoked in Page. Don't County. play yes. with our rich nope. suburb. We got rich ass suburbs in Chicago. Like, do mm. not play out there. Your ass getting cooked. For sure. Mm. For sure. Play okay. in the city. Oh wait, so wait. I do want. I wanted to show you. I don't know if y'all seen this video. I want to get a live reaction from y'all while y'all here, because this also when you talk about. I don't know if y'all seen the video, but there was a cop who hopped out. And basically, he ran down on one of the members, and he started throwing the set at him. Did you see him? He started throwing, like, the OYs down. The cop started, like, telling him, like, don't go to the op side. Like, don't go to RPT. Yeah. And he starts, like, throwing the gangs down at him. And that's all I wanted to know. Like, do you, do y'all, are y'all cops as into y'all storyline as, like, our cops to throw the O's and throw YG's up and throw your ops in your face and, and do, say UK and, and say don't go over to your ops. Bro, Why y'all cops that into it? They ride down the street blasting our music through speakers. Oh my son, that's what I. Mm. That's what I. Play. They play the ops. They'll they come through. Put the ops. Side, you know, remember, you know when we was just long live drama. You know, we was just on the block on Frank. That the, the police rolled through our shit and told us, y'all ops outside. They down the street right now. They outside. They like they want. They just know like they, they just know. Come. They know my fuckers finna go down there. Man, don't let the police bother. Police bother. For real, feel good today. We outside. The police man. does that the all the time. That's how the police do us though. When they see us outside, the, one thing about Chicago, everybody ops two blocks away, if not the next block over. I swear to God, literally mm. two minutes, two minutes. You don't even need a car. Like everybody ops on the same, literally in the same neighborhood. Like if you from right here, your ops damn the two blocks away for sure. That's how Chicago is. Do scuffles happen? No, no, no. Nah, Unless yeah. you at court or something. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not. I didn't think it was. I was just wondering. Is this a big scuff? Like I thought maybe. I like, just fought not too long ago. I just fought my opposite. I, look, look, bro, show. I, look, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't even go to nigga shows. I'm a real Rob Wave fan. Stuff, you we went in that bitch's regular I'm a real Rob Wave fan, though. You know, I went to Rob Wave show. Like I don't give a fuck who ain't give me a ticket. I'm buying a ticket, nigga. I'm going sit in the front row, nigga. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Mm -hmm. I had to go to Rod Wave concert. Me and a few of my, me and a few gangsters went in that bitch on Frank. And we went to go see Rod Wave, you feel me? We got into an altercation. Got into an altercation scene. I was knocked one of their ass out, you feel me? They, they ain't knock one us, one out, one of us out, but they had one of my homies. Don't you know how you fight in a big ass group? Mm -hmm. One of your homies end up on their side. Mm -hmm. And they end up, like, we had to pick them up. They them jumped sure. them up, but we, Literally knock one of they ass out though for real for real like cold blooded out and I, I can honestly say that shit was fun with all the violence going on in Chicago the shooting and Yo, all that my father handled that shit like bro man, man we really sat there and fought I want to fight again though. <laughs> Yo, so and this is and this is where my take be sometimes and this is what I be trying to say is that the thing is back in the day it's like yo the shooting the, the young gen it felt like no cop like. They just can't take a loss. Yeah. Right? Like, back in the day, bro, you used to be able to fight. You used to be able to fight, get right, say, because people used to run into each other, ops run into each other, big, massive brawl. Whoever got lost, whoever got spanked, whoever got knocked out was the troll of the week. For sure. Yes, until that's he got the one. Back. But, and then we could go on about it, and then it wasn't like, and the thing about it is, there's no charges for real. No, hell no. Charges. Ain't no charges for real. Everybody that shit. know, and it's the same thing if you embarrass them. Yeah. It's, it's just a big win if you embarrass them. It's yeah. not them. It's a big win. So it's like, that's why I was just trying to figure out, like, yo, how did we... And I really felt like it was the South, the Midwest. Chicago helped start it. But again, it wasn't just y'all. I know Florida was down wilding. Texas was wilding. Florida, Florida Texas. Florida, 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 Texas is also Florida like, be going crazy. That's what I said. People got who know, know. So yeah, like, facts. If you know, you know. But I seen it was going crazy. But you trying to say this. We was up top in the East Coast, New York, Jersey. We don't see them kind of guns. The, 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 what was the, the accessibility and everything. So it was just like, we felt, I just felt like, 
again, the Chief Keith wave and all that, when everybody's on the guns, it was like, it was no going back. Facts. It was no going back. And you could cop them beautiful guns for two, three hundred dollars. That was my first time getting to sell. You could cop a nice eight off. I'm like, yo, what? You know what's so crazy? We <sighs> could, we barely got access to that shit back then, for real, for real. I don't even know how the fuck we get flooded with that many guns. Like, it's just you so can lose a gun up, today man. and go buy another gun tomorrow. Like, it's so many guns. Niggas be so losing 20 guns. Generation. Me and my brother, I'm 19, my brother 20. I grew up in my generation. I was 13 with a motherfucker, 22. I see little niggas 13. Now, this little nigga got a switch. And he going to use this motherfucker. Like, boys, that's wild. Wow. We had to start with, with boys, Deuce Fives and 38s. For these real, little boys 13, 14 for with a, a 40 round mag clip How with a switch. How you get the bread for that, though? Man, these niggas, niggas be out here do doing anything, ever. selling drugs, oh, selling candy, ever. doing all type of shit, running it up. Ever, man. That, that's what I was basically getting. At. You're saying that you'll see the shorty go spin the bread on it. Yeah, that's, that's what they what do. At. That's what they do in Chicago, like for real. I ain't gonna leave lie. Sometimes you be thinking to yourself, look, man, how the fuck you get that? Over, <laughs> how the fuck also, you get you, that? I, here's what's some too, like talking about culture, like over the drip though. You seen them cop like. Over the drip, like, cause when you that age, hell yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Well, niggas, no, they don't no get no fuck up no shoes. Niggas care about that life. That way, I done seen a nigga say, man, look, man, I gotta, I gotta buy some more bullets, nigga, before I come outside on my son. Really? Nigga, he know he's in a go, it's bound to go that down. Lie, fuck, bro, I'm gonna go buy a white hey, t-shirt and some white ones for man. I'm gonna put on these sand. This outfit I had last week, I've been thugging in three shootouts in, and shit, maybe the fourth one tonight. <laughs> shit, I just need to get reloaded. Niggas don't care about those shoes and shirts, man. They don't care about. They had a box of bullets before they leave the door. Make sure, sure. they feel and they shit work. Off, right? so, so all they care okay, about. Okay, okay. So wait, now let's go there. Let's go there. How did... Okay, so now... Y'all... So y'all growing up as shorties, you like, fuck it. We already the drippy dudes. We already them dudes. We already lit. We gonna go into the music, right? Yeah. Y'all going to music. The music is hitting. At any point, are y'all... Are y'all... At any point, are y'all like, yo... How are you feeling? Like, are y'all feeling like we're going down the same path? Mm. Like, are, as y'all answered, like, are y'all feeling like, okay, this is the same route as the Lil Durks, the G Herbos, and anybody else who came before us? Or are you thinking, like, it look everything looks different right now, and we're going to have to create our own joint? Yeah. Like, Honestly, do you feel like, because do you feel like you're doing the same thing? The same I feel route? like, I feel like we are taking the same route. I we do like it differently. It's differently because it's just like, okay, when they came out, Drill came out. It was different. They was trying to know who these rappers are and what the fuck is Drill are. So it was trying to figure out two things at once. Who is the Swiss Chief Keith? Who is Lil Durk? Who is G Herbo? Who is these hot ass Drill rappers? And who, what the fuck is Drill? They never heard none of this shit before. So it was like everything was fresh and brand new. Drill has been out for 10 years now. Now it's all about who's the next artist. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, who is DCG? What what's DCG storyline? What's mm -hmm. going on with them? You feel me? They from out west. A lot of out west rappers, we ain't seen them motherfuckers from out west do what they did in how many years? So it's like it's just all about getting into the artists now and what they doing, what's their storyline now, because we know what drill is now. So so I feel like our route we taking it a little different because they ain't gotta figure out what's drill no more. What we about. So it's like when they figure out about us. Less explaining. Less explaining. They know. Looking at the videos, they fun. They making drill fun again. Like, ain't nobody doing what we not like. Shout out to everybody doing this shit in Chicago. Ain't nobody doing drill how we doing in Chicago. Like, we make drill fun. Like, sometimes people don't even want to listen to this shit. We make people want to listen to this shit. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you why. Cause we don't get up. We can. I can make a whole song right now, and not even talk about a fifty with a switch or a shoot nobody. Because drill been out for ten years in Chicago, and that's the difference between New York. Y'all kind of like so heavy on it right now, cause y'all damn near a little new to it for real, for real. This shit old to us. Like I don't even make drill music all day long no more. Like this tape that's finna come out, you gonna hear all type of shit on this shit for real, for real. Because we birthed the drill. I come from this shit. I can go on a song right now and go spit all facts, a real drill song, and make the whole Chicago mind. I'm frank, but it's just cause I come from that, so I know how to do that. You know what I'm saying? And, that's, That's like, like basically we get get down to like you just say like drill is like almost now that we get into it now it's almost a culture like yeah. drill's almost like a flow of, uh, it's just a certain flow and understanding right yeah and you saying is that that's y'all that's just. Easy. That's just y'all from back end. Like that's yeah. y'all DNA. Yeah, so that's you know, easy. Making other music is what gets y'all excited. Exactly. Yeah. You see how the Lil Durk's converted it over, and he For can sure. make music. He can go to the studio, and make a whole song about his girl. 
He got 90 drill songs. He don't give a fuck about that shit. That, we do that shit with our eyes closed. We literally come from that. That's how we rap. Like, we Facts. don't know no other way to rap. We literally... We born into we drill born into drill. Like, that's what we do. That's the only way we know how to rap for real. Like, it ain't like we on some... The drill wave. Like, y'all on the drill wave. And y'all killing it. You know what I'm saying? It's just... We killed it. It was a way of life. It's, uh, a, way, it's, it's, a, it's a real... Nah, we nah, had nah. our way with drill already. I feel like we just really on some artist shit right now. Like, really growth. The yeah. whole Chicago. That's what the fuck we need. Growth. Because, like... Drill has been, you know what I'm saying, been out for 10 years for us. So I just, like, everybody want, well, everybody want to see from Chicago is growth right now. That's what do everybody wants. Do you, and, and how do you feel like, how do y'all deliver that? Because I saw, what's up, Mark? Because I saw, I saw y'all doing, a, listen, I, I'm a big fan. I saw, like, the cooking shows. Yeah. I like, y'all really, y'all are really hybrids. Y'all are the new gen of what's going on, for real. Thanks. And the new gen of creators. Cause I don't, I honestly believe rappers are gonna be going soon. Like I don't rappers and team. I just think everybody's gonna be creators. Like it's just gonna be the best of the creators. Facts. Yes. Soon. Um. And so y'all are really like on a high level of creation. Where do y'all see yourselves though in the next couple of years? How do you want to? And how do you want to play this out? Like, do you want? Are we trying to get? Like, are we trying to get mega millions? Are we trying to get enough bread to start some big companies? Do we want to be goats in Chicago? Do we want to be goats in the game? Do we care about being goats in the game? I ain't gonna lie, I wanna be a fucking goat in this shit. Like, I really wanna show niggas, like, you can come from the the bottom of the bottom and make it to the top of the top. And I really I don't wanna be doing rapping for that long. I wanna show them we can act our ass off. Like, we after we done with music, we going straight to acting. Like, for sure, for sure. You we we want to go right to the big up. screen. We ain't doing no no messing around. Like, And it's going it's to happen. Now, after we done rapping, well, in the mix of us rapping and, and, and um, acting, we going to definitely have investments between sure. all that. I mean, you know, we going to make big yeah, investments. Yeah. Shit for people like... That's our age and, and we younger never and older. Leave music alone, like I don't want you to think. Yeah, we're gonna be one of those Wayne type of. Label. Like if safe is we don't, we really like didn't drop our said We 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 dominate the game ten years, 10, 15 years. If somebody want to come get us, they know we like one of the goats, goats of rapping like a Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. Like, man, that's how I look, man, of our time, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. like, man, we need to go get a feature from him. We used to pop and steal. Of course, we're going to hop on your new for the young niggas, the like, young niggas of that's course. That's how it's supposed to be. You see how Wayne still, like, he just do this shit for the fun of it, you know what I'm saying? Because he already dominated. I'm in my time of my domination right now. Yeah. If yeah, I like your song, time. like, I don't know if rappers do this. If I like your song, really like it, I'm finna hop on it without you paying for it. You feel me? I'm, I'm oh, hopping because I know, like, for real, for real. I know, like, I like this song. This bitch finna go up. As soon as I get on it, we finna kill this bitch. For sure, you. It's only certain rappers who do in that type of shit. For sure. Mm. So, so big making a big stamp is having big giving a big stamp in Chicago, but also y'all really want to just climb the, 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 the route. Y'all want to climb the ranks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hell and yeah. I want to, man. I'm I feel trying. like we already get to the point. It's no way in hell you could talk about Chicago without when people bring up in Chicago. They, of course, they gonna say G Herbo, Dirk, all that, and guess. Can't you, DCG, well, can't, come on, can't, every, you know, say literally. That I was just about to get to that point when you really count your hand on Chicago people. Like right now, even back to the drill days, you gonna say who? Chief Keef, Lil Durk, G Herbo. Well, I'm be honest, bro. Probably King, King Louis. Then Chief Keef. For, for I sure. mean, then DCG. For sure, you well, can't not say DCG. We Lil make Fo. Shit fun again, like. Well, real quick, I would say right, like we would say is I didn't know. We would say, Russia, if you ask some of the blogs, my young, my young boys who run a lot of the blogs, they would say, like, yo, they say Chicago was moving a little slow. And it was like, yo, you say, well, what's slow is because we know that first class, and it was like only people we knew from the next classes, to be real, was y'all, Mellow Bucks. But how many pulled up? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of motherfuckers, bro, for real, for real. I ain't gonna lie. You're rapping on that. Uh, but yeah, so, but only we only knew was y'all and Mellow Bucks. Yeah. Right. So. It was just trying to see and trying to see how do y'all really get how do y'all how do y'all feel about it? does it feel like you put in the you got to put the jersey on and got a lot of weight on your shoulders as a you do dude? for real for real first of all niggas are trying to take that away from people for real people are trying to take it away from you it's kind of like when you like bro it's damn it like when you coming out the city and being the hottest thing in the city and other rappers coming out around you but nobody lasting as long as you was like damn 
Because I'm the only one doing this shit right. So to see somebody like Mellow Bucks come behind us and actually do what she got to do and do it the right way, like, oh, okay, we got somebody with us who's going crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, it's that time for real, for real. It's time for Chicago to really show our talent. Like, so many people come from Chicago and just don't be having a team. Mm -hmm. Don't be having so much to just get to this next level or over the hump, you feel me? Yeah. So it was just kind of hard just only being DCG out for years. And yeah. So it's, I'm just over... I'm excited to see the mellow bucks and different females out of Chicago come with it. Is for shit sure. is amazing, for real, beautiful, for real, for real. And we all working together and shit. And honestly, the first generation ain't do that. You feel me? Besides mm -hmm. the names I just named, them was the ones who worked together. Be all the street niggas who knew each other from the streets. Like yep. ain't nobody worked together in Chicago for real, for real. The new generation, we doing that. Definitely That's changing. Real, real and last week, the cooking show. So we gonna be seeing more like y'all gonna be rolling those out. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, trying, I'm trying to get yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get Ari on the show, man. I'm trying to get her. I'm trying to get her. Uh, we try, we trying to get Ari, Miss Fletcher. Can you please come help your little little bro them damn, cook some motherfucker Alfredo or some gang like? Trying to contact you. We love you. food. We trying to start. So we trying to. Damn. If you want to help us stay out the streets, come get on our <laughs> show. <laughs> come help us cook. Learn how to cook. So yeah. we know you know how to cook. Help little bro them out, man. That's tough, man. Yo, I was like, yo, DCG. Yo, yo, the brothers, man, yo, this has been, to me, one of my favorite interviews, bro. Y'all have you. been a class act. I believe that y'all are going to go far. I think that y'all believe y'all have been killing it. Um, And I, I think the people are interested. Are y'all going to do a, we got like a tape coming out? What, yes. What, what's the, what we going to do? First of all, name of the tape, Us, us never, never Them. them. Us yeah. Never Them. Us yeah. Never Them. It's always Us Never Them. Mm -hmm. Always Us Never Them. So, yeah, Us Never Them on the way. Real new music. Real, real way. soon. Like, y'all don't even know how soon Us Never Them come. Like, real, real soon. And we like, got, we on the way. going to be some features on there, too? For sure. Yeah, some features yeah. on there. I ain't gonna lie, I just left. I, just, I ain't got too many, but some features on Yes, it's, uh, j I ain't got too many because the ones I got on there really that. So it's mm. like, you feel me? And they, they in a culture of young niggas coming up just like us, so it's going to be crazy. And, not, and it's just not drill pocket the whole time? Just not no, drill. Hell no. Hell just not no. drill. For sure, for sure. I'm talking about... You got shit for the ladies. Shit for the shit club. For the ladies, for the club. And drill. Yeah. Mm. That's tough, bro. Yo, outside gang, the DCG gang, y'all appreciate y'all for tapping in. Make sure y'all go follow the gang. You already 